most people recognize the feeling of not wanting to get out of bed in the morning in the winter time, especially here in Copenhagen at the northern latitudes where we have a substantial uh, change in the amount of daylight. Um, whereas most people they cope well with this, a smaller part of the population will develop seasonal affective disorder. The depression is uh, probably caused by low levels of serotonin in the brain and the serotonin transporter um, takes uh, serotonin back into the cell where it's no longer active. So if we have a huge uh, amount of serotonin transporter, we will have a very low number of serotonin molecules actively uh, working in the brain. Uh, this is also something that we use when we uh, treat people with antidepressant medications. We block out the serotonin transporter. So we identified patients that had winter depression and they had had winter depression for several times, uh, several years. And uh, we uh, examined those patients, we took them to the psychiatrist, they went for the scans, and they went both in the winter when they had their depression and in the summer. And we also identified people who did not have any winter sim depression symptoms at all, those that we would call resilient to winter depression. So even though they were genetically predisposed, they were women, they had an age where they was, had high frequency and high risk of being depressed during the winter time, they did not have. So we compared these two groups and what did we see? We saw that in the summer the two groups, both those who got the winter depression and those who did not have winter depression, they looked the same. Their brains were completely identical. They had the same levels of serotonin transporter in their brains. Now what happened in the winter was then that uh, the people who got depressed, they upregulated uh, their serotonin transporters, whereas those who were resilient to winter depression, they downregulated uh, their serotonin transporter. And what does that mean? Well, it means that if you have a high level of serotonin transporter, you will deplete your brain for serotonin. So those who had, uh, who failed to downregulate their serotonin transporter, they had lower levels of serotonin. That's how we think about it. And this also explains why medications that aim to block the serotonin transporter, namely to decrease the number of active serotonin transporters, they are efficiently uh, treating uh, depression.